Hey everybody, I wanted to welcome you to a series of meetings that we're doing with Prophet Kat Kerr. And it's coming in September. Before I give you the dates, I just want to talk a little bit about the importance of God's prophets. In Amos 3.7, which I'd like to read to you, it says, Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he reveals, his, reveals it unto his servants, the prophets. So before God does anything, he reveals it to the prophets. Now, part of that is because God gave authority to man in the garden. He said, Adam, I give you dominion over the fish, the sea, fowl, there, so on. And David followed that up in Psalm 8, that man possesses the dominion. But man couldn't use it because his hearing of God's voice became twisted with the revelation of the knowledge of good and evil. So what did God do when he wanted to do something on the earth? Well, he raised up someone special, and he called him a prophet. And the job of the prophet was to hear the voice of God and then to speak it into the earth. And then those who agreed with what God was doing, you know, they would, they would partake of the blessings and they would help to bring it to pass. And those who didn't, you know, they were the enemies of God. Um, so today, I believe one of the truly great prophets uh, in America and the earth is, is Kat Kerr. You know, I had the privilege for many, many years to be closely associated with Kim Clement, be on his board, uh, he came to my church twice a month for close to 10 years, and I got to work with one of the highest level prophets, somebody who could just speak by the word of the Lord, and I, and I watched things change in our nation because of it. And <clears throat> as I'm uh, watching Kat, and um, we've had her for a couple of meetings, you can see that she's a genuine prophet of God, that she carries the word of the Lord. She prophesied before the last election, and uh, it wasn't supposed to happen, but it came to pass exactly as she prophesied. And I believe that we need God's prophets. But the Bible says to receive a prophet in the name of a prophet. In other words, you don't look at a prophet coming in as an evangelist to get people saved, although people might get saved. They're not a pastor who's going to comfort people. No, they might get comforted. They are not a teacher who is necessarily going to teach people exact doctrines and so on. If you notice, Kat tells a lot of stories because she's flowing with the Holy Spirit. But a prophet is somebody who comes bringing a word of the Lord that has the ability to transform a person's life, has the ability to transform a local body, a community, a state, or even a nation. That's the power that prophets have. Um, in 2 Chronicles 20:20, 20, 20, it says, They rose early in the morning and went forth in the wilderness of Tekoa, and as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. So God says, concerning his prophets, believe them. And um, so when God is sending someone who is a prophet into your territory, you can't believe him if you don't hear him. So I'm saying is to, to, to be all in. One of the reasons we're doing these seminars we don't want people just to kind of be half-baked about it. We want people to be all in, spirit, soul, and body. We want them to commit. And so we're asking for that kind of a commitment. And, uh, well, Bob, we shouldn't be asking for that. No, we should. We, that's the problem. Sometimes we don't ask people for enough commitment. Uh, so they just take lightly the things that God is saying. I don't want you to take lightly. I believe that God is going to give us manna from heaven. And if he just kind of goes in one ear and out the other, you're responsible for what you've heard but you won't retain the anointing. When a prophet comes and speaks and you're in the atmosphere, it's not just the words that they say, but it's the anointing and the, the spirit of revelation that's there. You become a partaker of that. And it must transform you. If it kind of goes in one ear and out, the other doesn't transform you. There's no change, but you're responsible for the revelation. And you might look at the revelation or, or prophets even in a lesser way if you, if you don't receive it, sometimes you can come to disdain it. So we want people to be fully committed to come here, to be a part of what, what, what we're doing and bringing um, God's prophet. She has so much revelation, so many heavenly visitations. And uh, when somebody's been to heaven that many times and they talk to you about it, really, in a way, they start to open heaven up to you. 
I mean, in so many ways, and I don't have time to explain it here. So we have three days of meetings, which um, it's going to start Friday, September 27th, 2019 at 10 a.m. And we're going to go all the way through Saturday. And, um, and then in the Sunday, we have, a, a, I forget all the services, we have Sunday evening service. But all of that will be listed on the website. And so you can go to our website, you can go in there, you can order tickets online. And um, I really hope to see you there. We believe that when God sends prophets into territories, it's not just so we can get blessed and have a good time and have the anointing. But I'm praying that God's prophet will have words for our territory and our country that will literally change both our territory and our nation and hopefully your personal life. Because if your personal life doesn't change, it may not be that valuable to you. But I believe that all those things can be accomplished in these series of meetings. So God bless you, and we hope to see you here.